Hi, I'm Glenn. I'm Maureen. And today on Cabin Life, we're talking about buying land and finding your dream property in unorganized townships. What's the attraction? Today, we're going to talk about the pros and cons right here on Cabin Life. Hello, welcome to our new subscribers and returning visitors. Today, we're talking about buying land in unorganized townships. And we've got a lot of points to make, so don't skip ahead. Yeah, you don't want to miss anything. Now, some of the points, some people don't even talk about, so stay tuned. Today, we're talking about unorganized townships right here in Ontario, Canada, where we are. And we're going to share that perspective with you. Where you are, you may have unorganized townships that go by different rules and different uh, restrictions and that kind of a thing. So do your homework, do your research. We're just sharing with you our perspective from this neck of the woods. Well, some of the pros, let's just jump right into it. There's no permits required for the most part. That means very few rules, uh, few inspectors. You can build what you want, where you want, and when you want. Yeah, for the most part, but you know, there are some cons to that, and we'll cover those in a few minutes. And there's a lot less bureaucracy too. Actually, if there's any bureaucracy at all, um, a lot of things are a lot simpler. Like Glenn says, there's no permits, there's no, no one to apply to, and just just a lot less government stuff to have to worry about. And there's a lot less zoning regulations, so you don't have to worry about rezoning if you want to do something like have a business on your property or buy land to operate a business. Fewer hoops to jump. One of the other things is there's a lot less population density, there's less traffic, and less noise. There's no rat race, there's a lot less stress, a lot less noise, and a, a less compressed way of life. That's for sure. It's really nice. And you know, there's no elections, no election stuff to worry about. People running for council and all that. It's just a really simple, uh, a few boards that uh, look after what needs to be done in the area. Another pro is you get to know your neighbors, get to know your community and the area. Uh, sometimes if it's a sparsely populated area, you still get to know your neighbors. You know, the raccoons, the moose, the, the deer. It certainly lends itself to the quietude, the solitude of rural living. It's a lifestyle that you choose to lead to health and happiness. Yep, it all comes down to lifestyle. It depends on what you want, uh, your personal makeup, your character, and the, what you feel that you need from your life. Yeah, and what your partner or anyone else that's living in your household needs for theirs as well. All right, let's jump into some of the cons now. Well, one of the pros is living in a remote area, it's quieter, less population, less people to bother you and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, that can also be a con depending on uh, one's personality. You know, if you're a socialite and you like to talk to people all the time and go out and about and, and uh, you know, have all the entertainment and so forth. Well, that could be a con for you uh, living in a, a remote area. You yeah, know? like there's no more talking over the fence to the neighbor or saying hi as you walk down the street to whoever's passing you by. You know, it's great that you can build whatever you want, when you want, where you want. That's a great pro to living in an unorganized township. However, there's a lot of insurance companies now that are uh, got onto the idea that people are building without permits and they're denying insurance coverage unless a person can prove that the building that they built or the buildings that they built meet the building code. Interesting. Yeah, so that means hiring a, a, a building inspector possibly to come out and review your structures and give you a report for your insurance company. So that may be more of a challenge than what you would expect to be able to uh, hire a, uh, uh, an inspector that will come into a neighboring township and do that work for you, uh, scheduling it and uh, I don't know what kind of a pricing uh, structure that they would uh, charge, but I mean, that's just one more thing to consider. Of course, too, the other thing that you could do is if you're gonna hire a, a contractor to do your building, even if you hire one to help you with the building, someone who's well-versed in the building code and say, I wanna to build to code. So whatever you do, it has to be to code. And any ideas that we have, please advise us accordingly that whether or not it meets code. Right, so you want a contractor that you can trust and uh, that will build to code, no cutting corners. Uh, 
that, that really counts a lot because if you go to resell later on, uh, you know, you, you want to uh, have that inspection worthy and right up to code with, uh, with no uh, glitches or challenges there. Yeah, I remember when, when we first started, when we first bought this property and we were contacting contractors and we told them where the property was, some of them went, oh, you're an unorganized, there's no, per there's no inspections. Those guys got nixed from the mm -hmm. list. Yeah, like, that, rang, ah. that, that rang a bell <laughs> for us as soon as they, their eyes lit up saying, oh, no code, eh? Okay. Uh-huh. No, no restrictions and uh, yeah. Yeah. And that leads us to another con. The services are minimal. Um, that's peripheral services like there's no there's no water lines there's no gas lines there's no street lights there's, there's no garbage no pickup. garbage pickup there's no uh, none of that uh, type of thing and uh, so you're very much on your own to look after those services uh, the other con is that when you do go to get work done it's very difficult often to uh, get a contractor and have him you know have them come out in a you know in a timely manner often you have to plan your projects and times when you need a contractor you plan that a whole season ahead of time so when you want someone for the spring uh we're actually looking at you know at, at having some work done in the spring and we're uh now that it's fall we're looking at booking those springtime contractors now so that's a full six months easily you know ahead of time oh, at least we were talking to one contractor and he said well i'm booking into july you know, no zoning restrictions. There's no zoning bylaws. You don't have to worry about getting things changed. Like if you want to put an apartment in or have a granny suite to have your parents there or whatever, right? You don't have to worry about those zoning. But the con to that is the same thing applies to your neighbors. Like a lot of things, things in the unorganized township. So you could build a beautiful house, have a really nice piece of property, have the peace and quiet and tranquility, and then have some guy decide that he's going to put in a, uh, an auto repair shop or something next door so you're going to listen to his livelihood all day mm -hmm. maybe every day mm -hmm. you know and kudos to someone who's trying to support their family doing stuff but i really don't want to be beside an auto mechanic yeah. so a pro is that <laughs> on in unorganized townships uh, on your own land you can pretty much do what you want but it also means the con part of that is that your neighbor can also pretty much do what they, they want, want. It goes with the territory. Well, you know, one nice thing about living in an or unorganized township is that eventually people learn diversity. Like in the city, you, your neighbors are making noise or whatever. People call the police and say, oh, noise violation. They're playing their music loud, their, so their song, their wood or whatever. Well, out here, you just learn to work with each other, right? You learn, you know, everyone's got to do their stuff and you learn respect. And you learn that other people have to get their stuff done and they learn that we have to get our stuff done too. Well, one of the cons, especially if you're, you know, getting towards your retirement years, that kind of a thing, there's um, a lot less access uh, to medical. Uh, you've got to travel a lot more to get it, you know, into town to get your goods and services. So it means a little bit of planning ahead. Uh, often when uh, we go into the village to stock up, that kind of a thing, or if we have a medical appointment, we usually make it uh, an all-day affair uh, and pick up things along the way that we need to, and, and that, that way we're not going in and out as, as uh, quite so often. Yeah, it sure forced me to be organized, eh? <laughs> I'm planning all my trips. Here in Ontario, I suppose you could say that there's a certain amount of transparency in the voting. See, here we have the local roads board, local service boards, and the unorganized areas of Ontario, Canada. And we're in an organized municipality, everyone goes in and votes in a secret ballot, and no one knows who voted for who. And the local roads board, local service board, they have an annual meeting for each board, and whoever is running for it to be a board member, uh, people choose that person by a vote of hands. So everyone in the room knows who everyone's voting for. So it all depends on what you want from lifestyle and the location that you choose is very much going to determine a lot of how those dynamics are going to work. Here in the unorganized townships where we live, we really do enjoy the peace and quiet, the solitude. Uh, as I said earlier, it's less compressed, a lot less stress, and uh, there's just a greater enjoyment 
uh, with nature, being able to connect with nature on a daily basis. And uh, that is something that we value. And if you have those same values, then living in an unorganized township may be for you. We've noticed that there's a lot of new subscribers to our channel who are taking advantage of our buying land videos. And if you haven't already checked out the playlist of all of our videos, check it out here. Thank you for subscribing. That's all for now. I'm Glenn. I'm Maureen. Over and out. Take care.